Hi, how are you? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how you can divide an object or a line into equal parts, and then we're going to use that technique to build this graph. So we got a lot to cover. Let's just jump right in. Oh, first we got to do a little ad. Before I forget, I want you to know I have a brand new course out on Skillshare. So I've got two courses out there now, and I want you to watch them for free. So use the link in the video description here and it'll give you two months free access into Skillshare. So then you can watch my courses for free and any other course on Skillshare for free. So go ahead and click that link and go check out my course. If you like my content, if you're getting something out of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. All right, so let's get back to our content. So the first thing we're gonna need is a container for our data. So let's go to our rectangle tool and we'll just click and drag out a rectangle here in our workspace. So we're going to divide up this rectangle into three pieces, one for each element of our data. So let's duplicate the rectangle. So go to your layers panel, right click and hit duplicate. And then for this one, we're just going to turn it into one third the size. So let's go down to our transform panel and on the width down here, we're going to double click here at the end of that dimension and we're going to put in a slash mark and then three. So we're doing a mathematical function inside the transform panel. And then you hit enter. So now we have this top rectangle is one third the size of our data uh, box, our data container, okay? So now we need three of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate uh, two more. And then I'm gonna drag them over. So this first one is gonna be black so we're just going to switch that. This second one, I'm going to drag over, is going to be the light silver, and then we'll switch that. And then this other one, first one, is going to be the... Grab a hold of it there, and the first one is going to be dark with no stroke. Okay, so those are our three elements of data. So now what we want to do is we want to adjust the height of them to be proportionate for our data element. Okay, so for this first one of the survey, which is a Kelly Blue Book survey of popular car colors, 46% of the people wanted a silver car. So we are going to adjust the height of this element by multiplying by 46%. So let's go down to our transform panel and double click after the um, numbers there and put it in an asterisk and 0.46. Okay, so now this object is 46% of the height of, the, of our original data box. So we'll go to the next one. Now that's a silver and 30% of the people prefer a silver car, so we'll double click in there we put an asterisk in and 0 0.30. Now we need that asterisk to be right next to the uh, numbers. So don't leave a space in there, it won't work. Okay, so that's 30%. And then the last one, people who prefer a black car is 24%. So we'll select that rectangle, come down in transform panel, asterisk 0 0.20. And that's 20, oops, excuse me, should have been 24%. So let's command Z to get that back and try that again at asterisk 0.24. That's better. Okay, so now we're, I'm gonna turn off on our original rectangle. I'm gonna turn off the uh, stroke because we don't need it right now. So, um, and I'm going to go ahead and nest these three elements inside of this original rectangle. So we're going to clip them inside of there by just uh, selecting them and dragging them down to where you see this red line. Okay, that's going to clip them inside of this rectangle. So now when we drag this rectangle around, our data elements stay in there and uh, stay positioned correctly. Okay, so now I want to show you, let's go back to our original so now we'll go ahead and do the markers that will um, illustrate our data, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and use the pen tool and we're gonna create a line. So go to your pen tool and we're going to select 
in the context toolbar, we want the line mode. Okay, we're going to come down here and adjacent to the top of your data element uh, container, click once so you get your first node, hold down your shift key, and it'll get you a nice straight line and click again. So we're going to make that a little bit uh, bigger stroke. Okay. And we'll go ahead and move this a little closer so you can see. So now what we want to do is we're going to use the same technique, but we're going to divide this line into five elements because in our original graph, we divided the uh, markers by 20. Okay, so we need to divide our line by five. So go ahead and right click and we're going to duplicate the uh, line and then we'll drag this one over. And on this one, we want to divide by five. So we're going to come down to our transform panel. We're going to double click after the dimension there, put in that slash mark and a five, and then hit enter. Now let's zoom in a little bit here. So this line represents one fifth. We can use this to, to make our markers. So go back to your pen tool and adjacent to the top of this line, we're just going to click on our line and can then come out and do a marker. Okay. We're going to go ahead and duplicate that marker three more times. So go to your uh, layers panel and duplicate and and then we'll go ahead and move our segment up and then make that one to match, move this one up, drag that one up to match, and then move this one up and drag this last one up to match. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay. Now we have this line identified. We have our markers in place. We can go ahead and get rid of this segment. So go ahead and select it and then hit delete. And we want to be able to make our uh, access uh, for our uh, X access ac axis. I can never say that word very good. Anyway, we're going to make the X axis line down across the bottom. So let's go ahead and, and since we have our line selected, select the node tool and we can go ahead and drag this line down a little farther. And now that we have that node active, it's blue. So it's active. Go back to your pen tool, hold down your shift key and you'll create a nice straight line to the end and it'll, it's all connected now. All right. So we have our markers, we have our line set up, we have our data elements. Now we just need to do our labels and we're done. So let's zoom back out a little bit. So to add our labels, what we'll do is we'll use our text tool, but we'll use the frame text tool. Okay. And we're just going to click and drag out a box here. And we're just going to use Arial and we want it to be 16 points. And this is 80. Okay. And then we hit escape off of that. We have it over here in our layers panel. So let's just go ahead and duplicate that. And then drag them down. And since we're only illustrating up to 80, what we can do is let's select our uh, line segment again and use the node tool. And we're just going to drag this node down to that 80 mark. Okay. Cause that's actually the uh, top of what we're going to illustrate. We're going to select all of our labels here. And since we have them all selected, you can just drag them together. You don't have to group them. You can just hold, you can just do it temporarily because you have them selected. This 40 is out of alignment here. Okay. Now we're going to do something similar at the bottom. Draw another text box. We still have it active there. And I'm just going to draw out a text box. Same font, same size. And we're going to do silver. Oop, we got spelt right. 
So if you'll notice, this graph is kind of small for our actual document. So we can make this bigger and keep it all in proportion. And that's the last thing I wanted to show you in this video. So go ahead and grab your bottom layer and hold down the shift key and grab that top layer. So we have everything here selected. So what we're going to do, hold down your shift key, grab a corner, okay? Hold down your command button or control button if you're on a Windows and then drag this out. And what it's doing is it's sizing it from the center, okay? And it's keeping it all in proportion. So that's the last trick I wanted to show you. So that'll just help you keep your illustration in proportion to your document or your artboard. So there you have it. You built your first graph in Affinity Designer. Now you know how to divide objects and lines into equal parts. You know how to put mathematical functions into the transform panel so that you can illustrate data and divide objects and define them specifically uh, numerically. So that's what I wanted to show you today. You guys have a great day. Happy creating and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go check out my Skillshare course. Thanks so much everybody.